What's up, people on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day today. Well, this is what I do usually every morning. Um, a little late on this one. This is Friday's trading day. Try to keep it uploaded every morning. Just had to go to work after I got done trading and was dead tired after I got off of work and had crazy stomach pain. Man, golly, I had a crazy stomach pain. Oh, no. What I guess it was uh eating junk food. I've been eating junk on a junk food binge here pretty recently and just not eating the right food and stuff, so my stomach let me know. So uh looking at uh GNPX though and it had a really good move. You can see from the open that it went up seventy five percent, seventy eight percent here. Just a monster here. I got in here on a little bit of it and uh, make my goal for today. So that was good. And I'm going to break that down to you guys real quick. But before I jump into it, if this is your first time viewing the channel, you can subscribe to the channel. If you want uh, more videos like this, every day the stock market is open. So Monday, the stock market is closed. So I won't do a video on Monday. But Tuesday will be my next video. All right, so looking at GMPX, it was stock that opened up trading around three dollars and twenty cents a share. Hit a high of day of five dollars and seventy-five cents. I saw it was moving around with a lot of volume here, not even much of a pullback, and it was buying it up. So I was just watching the K line here on the indicators here, and I jumped in here off of this green candle right here. Got in at four oh seven pretty high not the high of the candle but still missed out on a little bit there missed out on three percent there so i sold here right as the indicator started to curl down here sold at 471 and did all right did all right on that one could have definitely kept playing it you know it was moving really good indicators moving on nice and good with it could have bought the dip here on the k-line made two dips on the k-line and made a nice support here could have kept playing it and made some really good dips i mean all day you could have easily got four percent off of each good dip here's a four percent here here's a dip here seven percent right there let's look at the dips on the indicators uh, right here, a uh, small gain, but if you hold out on the max out indicator, you get that 4% right there. The max out right there looks like even a rebuy right here. That looks like a good 4%. Just a lot of scalps, 4% scalps. You just gotta be patient and wait for these days like this when stock is, is getting a lot of volume and it's making nice and good swings that you can just get on these dips, just keep making your money keep making your money all day until it stops you out you know like if you got in early on this one right here on this first dip you gotta really wait for the RSI and the indicators to start curling up outside I mean comes close there you might get in a little early there and just put your 5% stop loss and get stopped out then try again when you see some bullish activity a little bit bullish here. And you wait for the dip. Wait for the dip. Got a dip here. Get your four percent. Up. Oh, be a little bit hard to get your four percent. If you could get it here on the max out, be a little patient. That's what I look for. I look for four percent. Maybe you know, sell half my shares at four percent, and then let the rest ride to the max out on indicators. Let, or just let it keep riding. So just got to really recognize what the stock is telling you. Get used to reading price action and you'll have it down packed there. So let's go ahead and just look at the overall market. Spy, see what Spy did today or Friday. And went on a downtrend here. Came up here with a little bit more volume. Just moving crazy. Just moving up and down just wants to keep this uptrend going just moving crazy here getting lighter volume here you can see though right here the volume is 
getting a little bit lighter compared to over here this area and over here on this reversal here it's a lot of volume a lot of volume going here on the bottoms and this bottom has a little bit lighter volume than the other bottoms so just something to look at you know something to look at let's look at gold see if it started making any moves yet looks like it's trending a little downwards here might hit the stop loss here at twenty eight dollars and ninety cents see here it's just bouncing around it's waiting on spy i guess waiting on some fear in the market I put a trade in at uh remember in the last video I put a trade in at I think it was thirty dollars and seventy cents I think I got in at so just seeing what's it gonna do what nugs gonna do to start trending downwards got to just little channel going on here and it's definitely gonna make a breakout alright you guys well that is it for me hope you guys are out there trading safely out there trading with a plan if you want to join this new community of traders that I got in this discord chat I started the link is in the description it's free just check it out and uh, hit that like button for me if you would if you like this video and hope to see you guys in the next one Peace.